And welcome, everybody, to the Money Mastermind. We're so glad everybody made it. We hope that everybody is having a great day. And we are running a bit like Katie and uh, Pops are going to be jumping on in a moment. They're just trying to park their RV. They're traveling around the States uh, because of their freedom online. And uh, they'll be jumping on pretty soon. We want to welcome everybody here who's just on time. We have myself and Jamie Shaw on here right now. I think I'm catching in there on your side there, Jamie. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, there. But, um, Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the, was that me? Hold on. I think that might be me. That was me. I didn't have my mic muted. That's all right. Yeah, and I think I was also playing the background. But yeah, yeah. Because I've got, I've got the Hangout playing in the background here, and I've got a really bad connection as well. I'm just trying to catch up. What's going on here? Give me a second. I think I have to kill my browser. Is that... What are playing in the record? Oh, no. Hold on. There we go. The watching. We're just trying to fix up a couple of things here. Um, okay, I've killed it. All right, so we are live, and uh, I've had a very interesting week, um, or should I say, a very interesting weekend. I right, let's see. So I had, uh, we have plans to have my sister over here, uh, but my sister had some car trouble, but I had some car trouble. Um, you know, I, my brakes, uh, they, uh, they gave out um, during the week. I had to have them fixed. And then my brakes were fixed so well, <laughs> my brain, because of the brake fluid that was in the car, it actually just started to jam up while I was driving. So the car just slowed down. So I had to wait for the mechanic to come out, fix everything up. So I was late, and then I found out my sister was not going to be arriving. Interesting week. Um, but I did make it to the uh, workshop that we had on Saturday, um, which was, uh, from what from I hear, a very good workshop. I'm still going to catch the rest of the replay. But other than that, I've been having um, a very interesting week. Um, business is going very well, actually. Um, well, that being said, I want to uh, go over to, to Jamie and find out how his uh, week has been, how things are going with you, sir. Well, everything's going great. Today's been kind of crappy at work, but, you know, Saturday started off with the workshop. The workshop was awesome. We were doing storytelling secrets. Well, that was a lot of the topic. And uh, um, we talked about, you know, our steps about coming in bringing in new people into the workshop and then we talked about storytelling, you know, and we got deep into the storytelling part of it. So it was really good, you know, and Sonia and I had both just been through this training and, you know, so, and this training, you know, it's really good. It teaches you how to sell around the product without selling. So it was quite informative, you know, and, and today I had, we had everything in the world blowing up at work today. So I didn't get much marketing, much, videos or Facebook lives done today because it seemed like everything that could really go wrong at work today went wrong. So I spent most of the day putting out fires. So. <laughs> oh yeah. I know that feeling uh, when nothing seems to go right. And then when you try it again, everything else falls out flat, but you know, those, that is the way that life goes. Unfortunately, fortunately for myself, I work from home, so I don't really have to answer to a lot of people but it still sucks when everything doesn't work out uh, the way it should. And, uh, you know, today we got a very interesting subject we want to talk about. Um, uh, due to a conversation I had with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, one of my business partners, and that was the fact that a lot of people, when they get uh, started in a business, do this thing called, um, they have this thing called shiny object syndrome. All right. Now, if you don't know what shiny object syndrome is, um, it's really that a lot of people have when they get online or they're trying to find a way that they can make some money online, they'll go and find a program and something that really looks appetizing and pleasing to the eye. They'll go ahead and just jump into this program. 
and then they'll try it out for um, you know a few days and then nothing seems to make sense to them or it doesn't work and they'll shut it down and they'll go around looking for something else and they'll go and find something else they jump into this program and then what happens is they'll find that nothing actually seems to work so they'll shut down that program and they'll jump into another thing and the truth of the matter is, is that every single day something new is out there on the market something new something shiny something amazing is online and it really appeals to people's nature and what i want to do uh, is i want to go through five key things um, that these shiny objects do for you just so you can be aware of it right you need to be aware of this because this is exactly what these programs do for people is that they're they they give you these these points and for some reason you are attracted to them and the reason I want to talk about these five key points is so that you can be aware of this and that you can you can understand this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but just so you can be a more of a alert person, so you can be an intelligent, um, so to speak. All right. And before we get on a bit further than that, I can see we have Katie stage. <laughs> He's just jumped on, which means that Pops is going to be following on her. And if Katie is there, I was just wondering if Katie with her sunglasses on there could just uh, let us know how things are going. You're in a new town, aren't you there, Katie? Yeah, we're in Rapid City, South Dakota. And we just visited 1880 town. Wow, so you, like, you, you went in a time machine. Yes, right. <laughs> Great Scott. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So where is Pops right now? Is he like He's getting stuff ready together. It it takes time to find a parking spot and then um we're getting there as quickly as we can, but we're driving in um hundred degree, hundred and two degree weather. It's really hot. It was really not even no clouds, hardly at all. And then um so we wanted to make sure we were careful in driving. We don't overheat and stuff, so what we got here as quickly as we possibly could. Cool. All right, cool. So I'll just see if you can get guys settle in there a bit more. We have Mary Beth, who is uh, watching us right now. We have Joe Whistler. We have Bob Bevan. If you want to uh, log into the chat and just say hi, thank you for joining us already. I'm uh, glad that you've joined. And if you just jumped on right now, we're talking about shiny object syndrome and why it is so dangerous or why that it causes so many problems. Really specific points later on in this hangout and why we want to talk about this. But what I want to do right now is I want to go over five key elements uh, that a lot of programs have uh, that that really play on your emotions and the reason why you feel so attracted to these shiny objects. All right. And, you know, I, I also, I don't know if, um, if perhaps Jamie or Katie have been victims of shiny object syndrome uh, themselves, or um, if they know of people that have been victims of shiny object syndrome, uh, you know, the sad thing is, you have Katie? Yeah, actually, I have uh, on uh, on both ends, you know what I mean? Like where I was in a situation where I didn't feel like anything was working for me. And I didn't feel that uh, what I was doing or where I was going or what I was working with maybe not have been what the answer was or I wasn't getting told the secrets. So I did dabble into other things just to see what was out there and see if it changed. And I realized, we'll, we'll get to that later, the secret, there is a secret. And I realized this thing that we're going to talk about tonight. And, um, and just recently, um, I, I was a, not victim, because it's not really a victim thing, <laughs> but it, I have experienced other uh, uh, people in my organization and in my friends group where um, they they love to share things, so they want to share something with me. So they're like, oh, look at this, or hey, look at that. you know. And it's good that they come to me to ask or say, check this out. 
um, just kind of like how we have uh, Pat Patterson does that for us. Like he checks it out, right? So I'm glad they do that. So, but it's like, why aren't you just doing what I tell you? Again, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> and I'm actually going to do a Facebook Live tomorrow about it because I think it's such a huge, huge thing. So, um, yeah, it, it happens. So it's not abnormal. Yeah, maybe, uh, Jamie, have you had any experience with this at all? Oh, yeah, I've had experience with it myself, you know, and it's like having a squirrel moment, you know, the shiny object goes in front of your face like, squirrel, you know, so. <laughs> I'm laughing so, over here, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so everybody experiences, you know, because, you know, everybody comes up with the latest and greatest things out there, you know, and, you know, like Katie talking about, you know, we, we've seen that a lot of people just, oh, here, check this out, check that. I don't do that to Katie, you know, unless it's something that really, really sparked my interest. I'll ask her opinion of it because, you know, we're kind of on the same wavelength. Uh, wave, wavelength. <laughs> Case in point. Case in point. <laughs> yeah, word, yeah, words are hard, yo. <laughs> you know, so, you know, if there's something really sparks my interest, I'll send it to Katie or I'll send it to Dave, you know, look at this, what do you think, you know, and, and I'm not asking them to join it, I'm asking them, what's your opinion of this, you know, so, but a lot of people, they're looking for the next best thing, they, they expect instant demand, you know, uh, instant gratification, so that's what we're going to cover tonight, you know, stuff like that, you know, so stay tuned. Absolutely, and uh, you know, I'll tell you this, um, <clears throat> You know, here's here's the real thing uh, behind people that, that want to start a business online. If somebody wants to start a business online, they are going online to find something that will help them. That's a great, great get your business going. But I want to um, illustrate to you a point that I'm going to talk about. Everything else is secondary. Everything else is secondary in your business after I've actually established this particular thing I want to talk about. And this is, this is what I want to say. I know I, I was going to say, talk about the five things and I'll get to that about what attracts people to shiny objects. But ultimately when you are starting a business online, no matter what you're doing, if you want to start a yoga class, if you want to sell bangles, if you want to teach people how to build cars, if you want to teach people how to fix cars, uh, build websites. Ultimately, what it all comes down to is, is that you need to 100% concentrate on building your list. All right, building your list is the number one important thing you have to do. So, if you are good at something, if you are um, have a particular skill in in something like mindset or uh, how to build a website or how to teach kids or how to start youth work or how to, um, you know, fix computers. You need to get people onto a list. All right. Are you going to go over why? Is, so, Are you going to go over why? Yes, I will. I will. Yes, I will. Oh, okay. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> building a list. Now, when I say building a list, what I am talking about is collecting email addresses. All right. All right. So usually, um, Chances are, if you are landing on this particular page listening now, you have come here through an email. So we have sent you an email and you have clicked on the link and you have jumped onto this and you're watching this right now. Because every single marketer on the planet knows that ultimately it comes down to every successful marketer on the planet knows it ultimately comes down to collecting emails and building a list through a capture page. All right, so if you've gone to any good website out there and they're marketing correctly, there's always a place where they say, put your name and email in and click on the subscribe button and you'll be added to a list so that if, well, if there are any updates or if something um, of value I can share with you, I can send this out to you. And the reason we build lists, as Kay was saying, is so that you can ultimately build a connection with your subscribers. It's very important, and that is first, and that is so, that is paramount to building a list. Can I say something? Yes. 
I, I, I think this is really important to say. So I know um, once you get on a roll, Dave, it's like, I, I just don't want to interrupt. But um, I do want to say that um, when I have connected with some marketers on social media, on Facebook specifically, is um, they say, because I ask that question. I like to ask that question to see who's building a list out there and who's not and who knows how. And a lot of, of a lot actually, to my surprise, there's a lot of people who actually say to me, well, I already have a list. Oh, okay, sure. And then I, and I ask, well, what are you using? Are you using GetResponse, Aweber, are you using Confusionsoft? I mean, in, uh, <laughs> Instasoft or whatever, <laughs> Infusionsoft. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but they're like, oh, no, I don't, I don't have a, uh, I don't have an email marketing system that I'm using, I have a list by building up Facebook, I build up Instagram, I have this many followers, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not building a list, that's building your network. That's building your network of followers and people who get to learn to know, like, and trust you. But with an email marketing system, what it does is, um, well, first of all, with the, with the, oh, there's a bird outside. It's not a squirrel moment, but he's looking right at me. He's like, hi, I saw you. Anyways, so uh, with social media, with your list of friends, <laughs> with your list of, uh, uh, you don't own that site. That's what I'm saying. You don't own that social media site. And being that this subject today is signing, uh, is a, the, the shiny ball syndrome, there's a new platform that could show up. And all of your followers would go there. And guess what? You have to be there first. So then the, you are the hip marketer who's been there first and then doing, you know, putting out your, your new fancy, like, um, uh, training on how to market on that platform or whatever. So when you do that, you have to show up first and you have to constantly chase your followers that way. But with an email list, you, you don't, obviously you don't own that site, of course, for argument's sake, for all the smart asses that are going to say, well, you don't own that too, but you own that list. You can actually move these people to another email marketing platform let's just say right you have the choice to do that right and what happens is that you know you you get to 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 feed them this valuable information where they can actually access it later if they choose to to save the emails because on social media it gets lost in the shuffle right it gets lost in the shuffle you can't find it anymore so it's always good to build rapport, not only on social media, but email marketing as well, which is another social media platform. And you want to build your list there too. So I just wanted to throw that out there. No, that's, that's a very good point. You know, I mean, a lot of people out there will, will use, as Katie's saying, use these free programs like YouTube and, and uh, uh, Facebook and, and and Twitter and all of that stuff and they have a lot of followers but at the end of the day just because it's just because it's free doesn't mean that it's yours they could I mean YouTube technically could shut itself down tomorrow um, same with Facebook same with Twitter same with, with snapchat it you know ultimately at the end of the day you don't own anything all right even though it's free it doesn't mean you own it and the reason I have like I've got over six thousand people on my list, if I want to share something with people, all I've got to do is just send one email and I've share, shared that with 6,000 people. And that's always, um, amount, that's the amount of people I have coverage on. That is something I own. And you as a, as a marketer, all right, you need to build that list. Now, with regards to shiny object syndrome and, uh, um, think that they found the the holy grail of marketing. They found that the system that's going to make them a millionaire, or they're going to find something that ultimate shake, or they they find a system that works for them. Here's the problem: a program is great. It doesn't matter if the program is poor. It doesn't matter if it's the best program in the world. If you do not know how to promote. If you do not know how to reach out to people and get people on an email list, you have lost. And this is the problem with going from system to system to system is that at the end of the day, you still need to learn how to connect with people. You see, I know how to reach 
hundreds of people. I know how to do it. I know how to do it on, on YouTube. I know how to do it on, on Twitter. I know how to do it on Facebook. I know how to reach people in a blog. And while I'm reaching people, I'm adding them to my list. All right. So if somebody reaches me and they find my website, I grab the email and I've got them there as a subscriber. That's because I know how to promote. And the very reason why, when I first started out in this industry, I started out with something that was very small. And then I moved over to another company. Then I moved over to another company. And then I moved over to another company. And the only reason that I can make money over and over and over again was because I had an email list. Ultimately, it was because I knew how to promote. And that's what it comes down to. It doesn't matter how great the program is. If you don't know how to promote, then you really are going to be looking forever and you're going to be jump from program to program to program. And this is what I wanted to, to talk about. That people get so fixated with new shiny objects is because you really are um, appealing to people five ways. And the first way is this. The first way is this is that when something grabs your attention, you just look at Katie, right? Something just went past her on the, on the left, and she went, whoo, what was that? You grab your attention. And if you can grab somebody's attention by doing something outrageous, that's how you get people to look at you. And this, we see it on the internet all the time. I'll give you an example. I've heard this expression a thousand times, right? Uh, the money is in the list. The money is in the list. The money is in the list. And as marketers, we all know that that is true. I heard a marketer say this the other day. The money is not in the list. It's definitely not in the list. That got my attention immediately because it was something I, I'm not used to hearing, right? They went against the grain and they got my attention. So that's the first thing people do is they grab your attention. The second thing <coughs> is that when 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 something when 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 you look at something new, your instant reaction is to want to have some part of that. We all have this inside of us. We all want to be a part of something that's valuable. So we see something that's new and exciting, and we want to be a part of that community. And the moment we we again reach that we want to go in that direction and we see this with new and shiny programs that come out all the time it's new and exciting and so we be a part of that community and that's what happens the second thing the third thing that happens is that it's it drives our curiosity something that's happening is making us curious and if you can reach people in a curious way, that is going to certainly drive people to that program. So think about this, all right? And as people who are responsible, we've got to be looking in a direction that's going to be helpful, but also understanding that it isn't just because something is new and curious, it's going to make us money. We need to be looking at programs that we are going to be steady with, all right? And this is what happens. We see something new and it's curious. We want to be a part of that thing. Is that number three? I did number three, right? Now we're doing number four. Is that correct? Number four. Okay. So the fourth thing is this. Is that it usually hits us emotionally. If something hits us emotionally, that's who we drive towards. Because emotionally, that's what we want. And the problem with a lot of people today is we live by our emotions. We can't help it. Something hits us emotionally and we just naturally go towards it. And so this is why as good as we need to have good mindsets. That's why uh, we plug into training. Uh, we plug into good mindset training by Dian Hockman, who teaches us how to think correctly and not to be driven by emotions, but to think about things logically. And, uh, and it's all right. And the fifth thing that we get distracted by is this, is that we have a, um, 
a desire to own it. All right? So people have a desire to own things that are new and brand new and shiny. And this, I think, is part of our DNA. We see something new and shiny, we want to have it. Just think about the cell phone that comes out, the new and wonderful cell phone. Now, I have a, I have a smartphone. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Note 4. This thing is a few years old. But I have no desire to buy the latest one. Why? I love I my Note 4. Serves... I used to love my Note 4, but yeah. it died. But I wish I still had it. But guess what, Dave? In a couple weeks, a few weeks, we're going to have the new Note series coming out. Yes. <laughs> now that's exciting. Because <laughs> now your Note exciting. 4, your Note 4 might not uh, take a lot of the updates. So you may want to, that's the only reason why you'd upgrade, not to get the latest and greatest, but to make sure that you do your business and your job well. Yes, I understand. But then you see, if a person just goes by, like, fly off the seat of a pan, have to have the latest thing all the time, which a lot of people do, I understand that a cell phone serves me a purpose, right? It keeps me in touch with people and it helps me keep up to date with my business. But I know that I don't need to have something shiny and brand new all the time to have that function. Does that make sense? So as people, as, as, as marketers and as mature people that we grow and we understand that there's a lot more to life than having the latest and greatest. There's a lot more to life than just feeling emotional at the time. There's a lot more to life than, than driving curiosity. We know that there are amazing programs out there that provide a variety of things we can have. There's more to life than that. There's more to new things. All right. Ultimately, what makes us responsible marketers and what makes us good marketers it's the fact that we do things on a consistent basis so if you took a look at what Katie and what Jamie and what Pops do all the time is they provide consistent value every single day on their platforms that's something that we really strive to and really if you want to know the key to making money if you want a key to uh, creating more money in your life it ultimately boils down to this now, when I said creating a list is important, it is. But the thing that we do with our list is this, is that we provide value to our subscribers. And the more valuable you become, the more money you can make. This is what it comes down to. If you hire a person that's really valuable, let me ask you something. That's right now as they're listening and I see Maria there. Maria, welcome. Hire a marketing person for your company, somebody like Gary Vanderchuk, or somebody like Tony Robbins, or somebody like Jeff Walker. That'd be worth a lot of money. You would pay a lot of money for their services, but they haven't done anything for your company. So why would you want to hire them? And, right, that they are valuable people because of the amount of value they, they have to give. That is why they are so valuable. People reach out to you that they are willing to pay money to listen to what you have to say. Just like Gary Vaynerchuk, an example. Like, yeah. we all know what he does for a service. And if somebody really is ready to get serious and change their business around on social media, and all that other stuff, they would actually pay for his services. Otherwise, people who are just, you know, getting bits of free information. I mean, he's got tons of free information out there. So if you can imagine how much um, value he would actually give if you actually pay for his services. And that's pretty much basically what we do here is like we're, we're this is free. I mean, it, it, it's not free as far as uh, taking up your time um, and, and, and whatnot, but it's, it's free information that you can actually go back to as much as you possibly want. Um, so you have to ask yourself, I wonder what they actually have a value if I purchase and click on the button that's below the video. Hmm. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, I just, uh, I just want to say also if my uncle is watching, my uncle Peter who's watching, he just joined. 
um, system that we're a part of. And you know what? He just started out with the online industry. And for those of you who don't know who my uncle is, my uncle, he's an international speaker that he helps companies um, uh, with their business because he's a salesman. That's what he knows. He's a salesman. But he adds so much value because he is that valuable. And I know he's going to do tremendously in this business because he has such a lot to give and he is that valuable. And when he starts providing that value, uh, you're going to see the provide. And this is really the difference between people that don't provide value and people that do. All right. So we've covered a lot of subjects in the short amount of time. <laughs> no, perhaps Jamie wants to say something or, or contribute to the Oh, I was just absorbing it all. You know, it's like when Dave talks, you, the room goes quiet, so everybody listens and pays attention. So, you know, so you hope no shiny ball goes by you, so it don't just, you know, interrupt you. But, you know, a lot of people, like I said earlier, you know, a lot of people are looking for a quick hit. They're, they expect they're going to come in, join a company. They're going to write a couple of blog posts, record a couple of videos, and then expect money, you know, after two weeks. At the end of two weeks, they don't get a paycheck. They start all that doesn't work, you know, stuff like that. And the next big thing comes out, and they're jumping onto it because they think, if I just keep firing and jumping and jumping and jumping, eventually I'll find one that sticks. Trust me, it doesn't work. I've been there. You know, so you need to find a system that works for you. We cover five things all the time. That you should be looking for you should be looking for a mentor you should be looking for a community to help support you and give you feedback you should be investing in yourself you should be investing in your business and you should let systems work for you and being consistent and following them five steps are what will make you successful chasing in every shiny ball that goes by you're never going to be successful it's doing the consistent daily action uh recording videos writing blog posts uh doing youtube videos doing facebook lives you know and we all get lazy at times you know I've, I've been in learning mode for the last couple months i haven't been doing my daily actions you know my lead generation goes down but you know you hit that spot when you're done you get out of learning mode and you go right back into action mode you know i've been listening and absorbing all this and trying to write a blog post at the same time to cover some of this stuff so you know i'm getting back into my daily actions slowly so it's not it's not a thing that's going to happen overnight it's something you got to build for long term it's something that you want to build for your future and you know because if you're here just for the quick fix and you might as well just keep on going because this isn't the quick fix this is the long-term solution one thing i do want to say as well for people who are um, uh, listening to this and if you're wondering what is it you can actually do to start get to start um, so you can you can be more valuable to other people? I want to say this: if you have any form of courses out there on whatever you're interested in, whether it be yoga, whether it be whatever subject we were talking about, my suggestion would be for you start putting out your knowledge to other people. You know, I just did a video today called. Um, it was covering the, the subject of mind catastatics or mind gymnastics, all right? The idea that um, you can exercise act that the reason people go to gym or the reason people stay in shape is because they burn off more, they burn off taking in. The reason people become overweight is because they're not burning the calories that they take into their body. That ultimately what it comes down to. And if you want to be somebody who is mentally fit and useful, you need to start burning that knowledge in the form of teaching other people. That's really what it comes down to. The fact that you need to start taking everything that you bring into your mind, you need to share with other people. And if you can start doing that on a regular basis, I'm telling you right now, when you actually start getting to the business of making money online and you have so much value out there, people are going to find you. So one of the things that I do whenever I go online is I'll tell people in my videos, go ahead and do a search for me. 
go onto YouTube and type in Dave Reneker, R-E-I-N-E-K-E. -E. Go and type it into YouTube and see if you can find me online. And I'm telling you now, people got my name and all the time and they find my training videos out there. The stuff that I provide value on. So I provide a lot of mindset stuff. I've written a book on the subject. A book, I make money from this. Why? Because I provide value for people out there. That's what you can do. And when you start doing this, you start making yourself a little capture page. How do you make a capture page? Well, if you want the tools to starting a business, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click on the link below that says get started now. That is a huge way that you can actually start getting a platform going for your business. You can get a blog going. You can start creating your own capture pages. You can get tons of training. You can become part of a community. And best of all, you can also become part of our workshop that all of us take part of on, on a Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we said 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can see that we just have Papa Smurf. Pops has <laughs> just joined us right now. Pops, how are you doing? I believe you guys are just arriving in a, in a, in a small town in the 1980s or something. What was that? Oh, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, this guy moved an entire, he built an entire town uh, from the 1880s by moving buildings or tearing them apart and putting them back together on the site from all over South Dakota in the period theme. It's awesome. It's just like, you're back in them days. Functional. It's amazing. So we're running late getting here, and I had things to do to get things settled. So Katie got on, and now we're both here. That's awesome. No, that's great, man. And we can see that you, uh, Pops, are you going to chat that head off at all, or are you just going to keep growing it? I'll uh, probably just keep growing it. I always hated to shave, although I got to do my neck. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's a whim. One day I'll probably get rid of it. <laughs> so, you know, coming back to my original point. So, here's the, here's the problem, guys. If, if you, that the secret is in the system or the secret is in some new program, it doesn't matter if it's the best program in the world. I can tell you right now that if you don't know how to reach people, it doesn't make a difference. If you don't know how to reach people, it doesn't make a difference. And usually speaking, it doesn't matter what program you're in, Empower Network, whether you're in My Lead System Pro, whether you're in um, some um, wealthy affiliate program. At the end of the day, you need to grab the training, learning how to promote. All right, Diane Hoffman says this all the time in her videos, and she is a seven figure earner. How to reach people. You know, we, we had a guy that joined our team recently. Um, his name's Kirk. I call him Captain Kirk. Uh, he produced an amazing result inside of his business. He started this thing where um, he was, um, what was he doing? Uh, he was teaching on, what was it? Completely forgot. Fertility, yeah, fertility, a website on fertility. Making babies, anyway, so he had this, he had this website on making babies, right? <laughs> on how people can make babies, all right? It's a, it's a funny subject, but hopefully you remember it. And he was taught how to connect with people. And so what Sonia did is he got him to reach out to people that were in the same niche. He joined communities and he started a newsletter and he would have conversations with people. And he got people to say, look, I've got a, 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 I've got a newsletter on this. Would you like to subscribe? Give me an email address. And he started building up an email address. And believe it or not, this guy is actually starting his own online business. Why? Because he learned how to promote his business. You see, it doesn't really matter what business you're using. You can have the suckiest business on the planet. 
if you know how to promote, this is why I can stay online. This is why Kelly can stay online. This is why Pops and Jamie can stay online because we have a list. We have a community of people who listen to what we have to say, who are watching this replay right now and to learn how to connect with other people. All right, one of the things that we do- And my well, list. Oh, yeah. sorry. And my list is excited that I, I, my list is excited for some information that I'm going to share with them. And it's only going to be shared on my list because uh, Pops and I are actually on our way to an Eric Laurie event, training event uh, seminar. And I told my list that because you're here, I'm going to share this valuable information from Eric Laurie, which is a huge name in this industry. So, and he's from Minnesota too. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyways, that's another benefit of having a list. So you can uh, give people, make them feel good that, you know, give them special treatment. Yeah, and you know, it's also interesting that um, when, you, when you decide that you're going to provide value inside of your business and free, free, a lot of the stuff we provide is free, doesn't cost anything. All right, a good portion of our stuff is free because we understand that people want information from us. And when people connect with us and say, how can I learn this? And we give it to them free of charge. And if they want to be serious about starting their business, that's when they buy. That's when they go ahead and buy the good stuff. All right, we have courses on the right hand side of this page. All right, that are so valuable. All right, one of those courses there is called the Deep Abyss. This is something all of us get a part. All of us are a part of. And in fact, this coming uh, is Thursday, uh, Jamie. I think it's this coming Thursday because it was delayed a week, right? Yes, it is this Thursday. So my show will be a little bit short, so we can get on the deep abyss call. So <clears throat> yeah, and we have a we have this deep abyss call at nine p.m. and all of us get on this call live, and we can ask questions. And uh, Diane. I will speak and she has a guest on this week and can ask questions and that is terrific. All right. And it's like what 25 bucks a month to be a part of this, this little group that we're in. You can phone in and I'm from South Africa. guys, So I mean, it's not a free phone call that I'm making. I understand how valuable it is. So I get on there because I understand that it's valuable. All right. It's very, very valuable. And I hope everybody here who's watching as well as part of that. And I see that we have Shaila on there as well. Shamala's just joined us. So hello to you. Who else is on here, Katie? Actually, Robert. I closed out. But yeah, it's uh, Robert. And then um, I closed. I just closed out. Um, so I wanted to say real quick is that um, the shiny ball syndrome for me, it wasn't trying to get the next best thing because I don't have like the latest um technology that kind of stuff i never was after that so my shiny ball syndrome is trying to get to the next information that will actually help me break through to get me closer to my goals because i always like i said in the beginning that i always thought there was some kind of secret so once i couldn't find it in my short window of time for my you know to reach my goal i would get a little frustrated and then i would go to something else and say okay now this is going to be it until I realized that um, what you were saying, Dave, is that it doesn't matter what you're in, you still have to promote it. And if you don't know how to promote, if you don't know how to close, if you don't know how to talk to people, if you don't know how to build an online presence and how to um, get enough value out there where there's a library of information where you can actually share with people, I mean, that's what it takes. It doesn't matter what you're selling. What matters is that people buy from people they don't buy from companies we all heard that before right and if that's the first time you heard that before um hopefully that was an aha moment for you but what happens is that people the only way you're going to make money is people are going to give you money uh, okay so they're going to hand you cash they have to hand you cash it's people that hand you cash so your job is basically to build rapport and give them a reason to buy because um you may have made, may or may not have heard this before, but people don't like to be sold to. They like to buy. People love to buy. 
So you got to give them a reason to. And one of my um, uh, one of my mentors have taught me is I have many mentors. Okay, um, one of my mentors taught me that you have to in order to have someone buy something from you, you basically have to fill a want and a need. And once you have met that. I mean, it's no brainer. You just close them right then and there. And that's it. And, and it's as simple as saying, well, it sounds like you're ready to purchase this or ready to get started or, you know, that kind of information. So I just want to throw that out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Jenny, you want to say something? I just kind of like what Kitty was saying. I mean, solve their problem. Find out what their problem is and solve it for them. You know, it's plain and simple. People overcomplicate things, you know, and going to the shiny object syndrome, you know, my background's in IT, so the shiny object syndrome is a little worse for me because as being in IT, you want the latest and greatest ways to get into networks and hack passwords and stuff like that, so you're up on technology. Sometimes that can be a hindrance when you come into marketing, marketing arena because the new greatest thing comes out and you're like, oh, I want to check that out. But you got to pull yourself back and focus on, on the goal because, you know, um, you're used to getting all the big greatest technology and stuff. You know, I just got a new video today in an email on a, uh, NMAP penetration testing. I'm like, oh, that, and I'm like, oh, oh, I got to hold myself back. I can't jump into that yet. I got to wait, you know, <laughs> but it sparked my attention right away, you know, so, but, uh, you know, you, you just got to learn to, to focus on where you want to go. You know, uh, you're, have anybody ever seen the movie Vision Quest out there? You know, it, it's an old 80s movie, and it's about a, a high school wrestler. He wants to wrestle for the state championship, and he is his vision quest is – his vision is to wrestle the best in the world in his class, and he has to drop weight to make this class and he does it all year, you know, and he goes on and he wrestles the best in the best. And then in the movie, I think he beats him if I remember right at the end of the movie, but he went through a lot of struggles, but he went through everything he had to go through to become the best, to take on the best. And that's what, a, what's what having vision is. You have to stand above the crowd. I mean, because in marketing, if you're doing everything that the crowd's doing, you're just going to blend in with a crowd. You got to stand up, rise above, above them and stand out for everybody else you know make your youtube channel different be a little crazy be a little goofy you know katie's known for being goofy you know and that and that's what makes everybody read her posts and stuff i mean i'll stop in the middle of the day oh katie put a status update i'll go read it just because i know it's going to be funny zany and goofy you know and people love that you can't just be get on here and buy my stuff it's for sale. Here, I won't try this. <laughs> you know, put some life into it. I really developed a, a personality over this last year, haven't I? <laughs> you sure have. And you know, I've actually been known for the, the 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 marketer who has her humor into it because I also put some value in there. Okay, I'm not all about jokes and stuff, you know, and fanning my armpit with a fan here. See. <laughs> See, it's random stuff like that. Like, I always like to remind us that we're all human. We all have armpits, and I have a fan. So what? So, anyways, <laughs> it's really warm. But anyways, it's it's. I actually integrate my humor, myself, me, into my marketing, and that's actually um, a, another big aha moment that I had is that it doesn't matter what you're selling. It's just you throw your personality in there, and that's how you become different from everybody else. I mean, if that's not the biggest aha moment right now, I don't know what else I could tell you because it's not a product it's not a secret it's not a certain thing you know i mean you want to align yourself with certain people that are going to go the same direction as you and who are willing to help and give you feedback and those are called mentors who can actually give you live feedback because they can't you can't get feedback from a book you can't get a feedback from a webinar that you watch you know what i mean i've been there i was alone i can't get those feedbacks i tried I talk to those books and they don't talk back now. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you have a question, you have to surround yourself and it's what's called a mastermind. And that's exactly what we have. We specifically called it a workshop. So um, I thought that was a nice transition to talk about the workshop a little bit. But you have to have that, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, uh, that, trans, that, uh, that surround yourself with people that will give you feedback. Um, 
and we love to learn from other people too. We absolutely love it. And, and I think it's fabulous when a new person comes in to this industry and they have bright idea. They have the brand new eyes into this industry. They have new ideas and we get stuck in our ways some, you know, most of the time and we want fresh ideas. So we love new people to come in and just throw some ideas out there and we're like, yeah, let's run with it. Or if we've been there, done that, we like, okay, this is what we've tried and this is what we've done. And this is why, you know, what happened to us. So, you know, we can help you out in, in that, in that, in that process. So I, I think that's, um, that's pretty important too. So it's, it's telling your story, being yourself. That's the key to success. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're closing in on the hour here. And uh, I was just wondering if perhaps Pops wanted to say something to add on to this. Yeah, I do actually. And it is that, uh, you know, we've all been, everybody has been talking about sharing information with others and getting yourself known out there by sharing information and being yourself. And there's people out there that do follow the shiny syndrome, the shiny ball syndrome, and it's mostly because they don't get the information from either their upline or their company or whatever or they're not gonna do the work because they're not sure how to do it. So they're not getting the information. That's pretty much the majority of it. They say what 90 some, I don't know what the percent is, people fail. Well, that's not actually totally true. They don't get the information, so they get frustrated and they quit. They don't fail because they haven't tried enough because they didn't have the information to try it. So our job is to get the information to the masses get these trainings and learn what you're, what you're comfortable with, whether it be social media or email marketing, uh, video marketing, whatever you want to do, find a niche, whoever you may relate to, and that may fall into what you were, what industry you're in prior to, what you know. I was a truck driver, so I can relate to truck drivers. I can speak the language, and I was in actually a lot of other things too, so I can cover a lot of bases. But I, you don't want to do that either. You want to try to focus on a niche and stick with that. Get the information out that you've learned. Do some training. Learn it. Learn, do, and share is the, is the mantra for it. And you'll have people following you and eventually signing up with you. It may take time depending on how much information you choose to put out and what platform you put it out on. Video marketing has been and still is king and getting the information out because they see you, they hear you, and they know you're a real person. Email marketing is fine, but they can't really get to know you all that well. Facebook is cool with Facebook Live, so that's another video per se. So learn from all the products that we suggest because they cover all the bases, every one of them. There's not one that's not covered in the programs that we suggest and learn again get learn it do it and teach it and you can't fail unless you're not and ask questions don't forget to ask questions remember to ask questions that's why we have our our mastermind group so that we can answer the questions and like katie said new people come in and they throw something out there that we go, oh yeah, wow, you know, we hadn't thought of that or that new angle, same thing, but a different angle, because then it stands out from the crowd. And that is a very important part of it. So um, we are getting close, so I'll turn it back over to you, Dave. Thanks. Thanks, Bob. And so, you know, what I want to do right now is I want to tell you guys about the, the, the upcoming week. And, uh, you know, so for those of you who need to know on Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Maria and uh, Sonia who have a hangout. And then on Wednesday, we have uh, Wisdom Wednesday with Pat Patterson, myself, Katie, Tandy, and Dave. Uh, so, so. And then on Thursday, uh, we have Jamie Shaw, the marketing show, which you can see him at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And at 9 p.m., um, that is when deep of this call happens. And I want to encourage you guys, uh, if anything, uh, to be a part of that. So go ahead and 
click on that link on the right hand side of this page and get into the deep abyss because having that sort of resource at your fingertips is is so good and the 25 bucks a month um it's, i can't believe it's that cheap to be perfectly honest with you it should be you know we used to be a part of a, a think the inner circle which was a hundred dollars a month and this is this is 25 bucks a month from a seven figure earner and every single month she gets the call live with everybody and you want to be a part of that and then of course um yeah if i may if i may do i'd like to add with that you're just not going to sit there and listen in the deep abyss you can participate you have a question you can ask and the answers will be given uh, she's very good about letting people ask questions and contribute. So it's, it's kind of like our workshop. It's the same thing, although it's not live video like we do in a workshop where we can see each other and, and talk. But you still have an opportunity to contribute and or ask questions. So I just want to throw that out. Absolutely. It's a, it's a really great thing to be a part of. And if you are serious about whether you're doing online or offline business, it's definitely a worthwhile uh, resource to have. And so one of the things that we do as marketers is we are always looking for tools and resources to help us. And so I know that Kelly and myself, we, we and Pops, um, and as well as uh, Jamie is going to as well a bit later, but we we got into a resource uh, that that was, um, all right, a thousand dollars. And we bought that because we, we want to be a part of that and that's just more training that we've added to our resources so we can be more, more educated. If you want to know more about that, you can contact us about that and, and we can get you that information. But what I want to emphasize here is that it is so important to educate yourself um, as responsible people who are starting a business. If you want to go the free route, it's a long and lonely way it's a long and lonely journey if you want to do everything free I failed for seven years of my life trying to do things a free way trying to take the shortcut it doesn't work the moment you start getting uh, to to successful um, real business that's when you start jumping into people who are spending money on their business why would anybody spend money on your business if you're not willing to spend the money on your own and so with that being said, I'm just going to, I think I'll, um, I'll uh, Jay, you can say your, you got your goodbyes and then we'll have um, Kenny who can close us off. Oh, sure. I just want to, I just put a comment in the comments, you know, that even Diane will school you on your brand in the deep abyss if you need schooled on your brand, because <laughs> Dave got live schooling right there on his brand, you know, and it was, it was not to embarrass him. It was to educate him on how to refocus his brand and brand himself as himself instead of the 24 hour marketer. And it really helped Dave. And that's what a seven figure earner does. They don't beat you up. They chip away the rough edges and point you in the right direction. You know, so the deep abyss, you know, if you need, if you're struggling with yourself, that's the place you need to be because you can, chip away the rough edges by going and listen to the pre-recorded stuff that's been there for almost three years. I think October will be their three year anniversary, but you can also listen to the live call and participate and get Diane will chip away the rough edges right there live in front of everybody if you need it. So that's something you need if you're struggling with you. And I encourage you to get on there and get in it, you know, and, I just want to thank, say thanks to Dave, Katie, and Pops. You know, it's awesome hanging out with you guys every week. So that's all I got. You're welcome. Yeah. And you're awesome too. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you're welcome, Jamie, and you're awesome too. I know it takes an awesome to know an awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I love doing this. We've I've actually was messaging somebody, and I said, uh, "Boy, I'm on like, I help run a workshop." And, and two hangouts, uh, three a week. I'm live three a week. And it's like, I've been doing that for like two years, it seems, or close to two years, two, two. 
Um, I don't own a tutu. But anyways, uh, so it, it's interesting that I've been doing this for so long and, it, and, and I love doing this because we can be here and we can help people. And it's, that's pretty much my, my why and my purpose. So I just want to reach out and, and get out as much value as I can in any medium possible, right? So I try to do it any way I can. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. Pops. Yeah, that's a good thing you are. And you too, Jamie and Dave. Yeah, it's great hanging out with you guys. And I, actually, everybody that's on here uh, listening uh, and watching, it's, uh, it's great to have you all here and the workshop people as well. It's, uh, you know, it, we make it a great time and we make it a great community and we all share and we have fun on the Hangouts and off the Hangouts. So we all interact, uh, Facebook and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, you're not ever, ever gonna be alone out there, ever. So uh, check it out. It's all I can say is check it out and uh, see if you like us. <laughs> Have a great week. See you next week, or those of you on Saturday, see you then. Night. Dave, you are so muted. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Okay, guys, I'm not muted anymore. <laughs> so um, we will see you same time next week. A hot topic, and we will see you uh, then. Cheers. Bye-bye. And of course, reach out to us if you don't believe that we're real. We'll keep in contact with you and you'll see how real we actually are. All right, cheers.